So hi, I'm Daniel. I'm a business admin apprentice for North Town Tate Council and I'm based at Harvey Coombe in Killingworth and I work in a team of housing, property and construction. When I was little, I had meningitis, so I had to lose both fingers on both of my hands. I had to lose half a foot on my left side of my body. On my right side of my body, I've got a prosthetic leg, so I had to lose half of my leg. Um, my heart failed three times, so I had to have I had to get resuscitated three times as well as having three blood transfusions. So when I was growing up it wasn't always easy, there was a lot of bullying, a lot of name calling. Yes, I have been difficult to find work because there's some places I've applied for online, the rangers and they say, oh, we, we can't take you on because of the insurance you, we've got, we would have to pay to cover you, to work with us would be too much. I mean, I saw it sort of felt at the time that, oh, will I ever find work? Or am I just going to jump from apprenticeship to apprenticeship? But it does it get you really down and then, but you've got to, also at the back of your mind, you've also got to think positive. Right, okay, where can I go from here? I, I went to to the job centre Moors End, because I, I, I got, got to the point where I didn't know who to turn to or what to do. Um, talked to my work coach, they put us in touch with Generation North East, which is where I met Lorna. And this is where I am today through Lorna. She, what she's done for me is a great deal. Uh, I have a lot of respect for her because I, I sat down on the qualifications. I told her what I wanted to do, where I wanted to be. So we sat down and we went through a couple of job sites that I applied, got set up on. Um, I seen this apprenticeship online and I said, Lorna, I'm really interested in this. Can you help us a little bit? She was like, yep, not a problem. So we updated my CV, but upskilled it a little bit more, um, which in my eyes gave me a lot more confidence when I went for the interview. And we went through interview techniques, what to say, what not to say, how to conduct. Yeah, it's, it, when I meet Lorna for my reviews and things, it's, it's like meeting up with a friend. I don't feel intimidated, I don't feel shy or nervous. I feel like with Lorna, if I've got an issue, go to loan and say, look, this is the problem I've got, I need a hand. We utilise the plan where we would look at Daniel's CV, look at um, options that he was looking for for work. Working with Daniel's really fun. Um, Daniel's very keen, very open to new ideas. Daniel made my job so easy, I would definitely say. Um, you know, he's been a real fellow with him. It's fantastic. Um, he's got so much enthusiasm. Um, I would pray for what he does, I would say. It's just lovely to see um, his passion for working. He's got great work ethic. And I think if somebody just give him the chance to fully commit, obviously he's only on an apprenticeship, which is a 12 month apprenticeship. I'd really like to see Daniel go further. It has given him loads of drive. He loves working. He loves to get up and be able to work. And that's what Daniel likes to do. Very proud. For the moment, um, I've got high hopes. Um, hoping, I, I, hoping I'm staying permanent here. But if I don't, I'm not going to be disheartened by it because I, I know I'll find something within the council that will take my take me fancy and hopefully I'll stay within the council. It, it's made me more professional. I mean, I've had different jobs since I left school. Um, but when I left school I was just a child, I didn't know how to behave, how to conduct myself, I didn't really have much confidence. So it was always I was messing around, wasn't paying attention, but working here it's like, this is my job, this is what I'm responsible for, so if I don't do what I'm responsible for, other people are going to get affected as well as me. And give it a go, come and see us, see if we can help you um, to fulfil your career prospects.